Hello everyone, I'm Reza Rad. This is a, such a pleasure to be with the one and the only Aaron Lag here from Microsoft Fabric team as your data. Reza, nice so good you. to see you. Thank you for yeah, being here. Yeah, very good to see you. Yeah. Uh, so the exciting news of Fabric database. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're so excited. We've been working on it for a couple of years now, so it's exciting to get it yes. out. You know, it's a known public preview, so everybody can try. Yeah, it. that is really good. So, uh, so one of the things, one of the questions that I get uh, right now, yeah. a lot of people asking about it, is that like we have the warehouse and lake house. Yes. Uh, what is the role of database in this? Yes. No, it's a very, very good question. Let me start with where we're going with Fabric overall. Mm. Right. right. So we recognize that AI is only as good as your data. Correct. So it's become really important for every customer to get their data estate ready. That is and right. you know it's ridiculously complicated. There's hundreds and hundreds of products of technologies out there. Correct. And the burden is on customers to figure out which products to use, which ones work together, mm. and how to put them together to put business value. Correct. So in Fabric, we're really creating the office for data, right? right. We're taking all of the core technologies that customers need and bringing yeah. them into a single unified SaaS platform Correct. so that we can dramatically accelerate time to value mm. and we can dramatically reduce cost. That's what Fabric is about. Right. The big piece that we haven't had so far is transactional operational databases. Correct. Right? Yeah. And that's always lived apart. The worlds of analytics and the worlds of database have always lived apart. Right. And there's big ETL pipelines, shuttling data, blah, blah, yes. blah. Yeah. And with Fabric, we said, why not take it to the next step, right? Why not allow customers to build full-featured applications with you know, the power of SQL Server, right? right yes. the world's best transactional database, yes. which is built into Fabric, so you can build your end-to-end -end projects. That's where we're going. Right. Um, and customers cool. are really, really excited about that. And I think that we also see, Reza, is that the distinction between transactional databases, NoSQL databases, document databases, mm. vector databases, in-memory databases, a lot of these distinctions are just disappearing over time. Right. Right? The boundaries are blurring. Right. As customers mix and match these capabilities in real AI and Correct. projects, right? right? And Fabric is aggressively driving that convergence so we can accelerate time to value and drive cost. Right. That's the reason why we brought Correct. our flagship database mm. into Fabric for the first time. Right, okay, I really like that term you used, which is like uh, office for the data. Yes. Because that is exactly what it is. Like yes. you have all of these workloads and products That's inside right. Fabric that you can use for different purposes, like the, right. the database for transactions. Why should it be any more complex? Right? That like is right. Just, so we can do the heavy lifting in Microsoft to make it easy for the customer to make it easy for correct. the developer to build their AI workloads. That is correct. So, so do you see also like, of, of course, you don't need to, to say any timeline or anything like that. Do you see things such as Cosmos DB or uh, Azure SQL? Uh, Azure SQL database is already there, but Azure uh, like MySQL DB, Postgres, yeah. those also coming in the future? Absolutely, because uh, and that's the reason we call it Fabric databases right. as opposed to Fabric SQL Server or something like that. Right. right? Uh, because we are starting off with a flagship database. Uh, you know, based on the SQL Server technology. Right. Uh, but we're also going, uh, we will bring Cosmos DB, we will bring Postgres SQL. So we do, do plan to ex extend Fabric so that it basically becomes a complete data tier. Right, okay, that is, that is cool. And, uh, and also one of the things that uh, was in your session, which uh, Amir actually yes. uh, presented, which was that like write back ability yes. and things like yes. that. That was really exciting. Because we, we've been looking forward for something like this. We've yeah. been building it with like power apps combined yes. with Power BI and things like that. But now with the power of uh, database and some new features that is coming, that is, that is an exciting thing to have. Like, did you have a lot of customers asking for such a feature? It's huge, it's huge. Right. Because Power BI is just everywhere, right? That is right. And very often you just need to go write some data back. Mm. And if you're writing some data back, you know, you had to do very complicated things like bring in Power Apps or write something custom. Like, it was Correct. hard, right? Uh, and uh, we wanted to always bring write back capability to Power BI, right. but we weren't sure if that alone was sufficient. But now with Fabric, we have Azure SQL Database. Correct. We're adding data functions. Mm -hmm. So now we can create a visual that does the write back capability, but it has a full ecosystem behind it, right? Functions can go help you write the data into SQL. It can also help you write the data to anywhere else because it's just a function, right? right so yeah. it gives you enormous new capabilities with Power BI and with Fabric. Uh, so we're really, really excited to announce that it'll ship hopefully uh, in Q1 of next calendar year. That is amazing. That is that is really good. One, one last thing I want to yes. take your time on, which was the search protection. That yes. was a really interesting yes. thing that uh, that you talked about. So, 
So what, uh, what it does, based on my understanding, yeah. and you can correct me if I'm wrong, is that we use it to manage our capacity consumption in a better, uh, in a better way. That's, that's right? right? That's right. Right. And, and this is not available at the moment? No, it is. It goes to public review this week. Right. So okay. it depends on when exactly it rolls out. Maybe it's this week, maybe it's next week, but right. it's, it's about now. Uh, but it's something that customers are really excited about. They love the fabric capacity model correct. because it allows them to consolidate many different disparate products into just fabric. Right. right. Yes. Uh, and it saves them a ton of money and makes it very easy to build. But at times, they want to protect the capacity uh, from overusage by typically by background task, over consuming it, right? Yeah, because and the surge protection, happens. that's right. Yes. And so surge protection gives them exactly that. Um, right, so it's in public yes. preview today, and hopefully there'll be, uh, you know, we'll have lots of customers using it, and we'll right. have uh, okay. good feedback. Awesome, thank you, thank you for, awesome. for well, your thank time. Thank you so much for being part of the community. Thank you to everybody being part of the Fabric and Power BI communities. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you for good the great you job you are doing. Thank you. See, See you. you. See Bye. You.